church is on right now. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Hallelujah. Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome you, amen, to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. And we want to welcome all those of you that are uh, joining us by audio or video. And we ask you to prepare yourselves to receive, amen. So you're not just here by accident. You have an appointment. And God is wanting to talk with you, amen. He says he, he stands at the door and knock, and we are to open and let him come in. He says, if I come in, he says, I will sup with thee. I will come and eat with, with you. Amen. So praise God. We need to invite Amen. him in, you know. So this is something that we need to know. Yes. He's not pushing us away. We're pushing him away. Right. So we he's knocking and we need to open. Amen. Amen. So praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to prepare yourselves to receive and uh, be ready. And uh, I'm going to go, so you get yourself on go. Amen. Grab your Bibles and say it like a man at church. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be saved. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Remember, you fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. And you got to prepare yourself. Amen. Amen. You put the whole armor of God on and, and step out. So be ready. Amen. Remember, a church alive is worth the drive. Yes. A church alive is worth the drive. <laughs> Praise God. Is worth the walk. And we're going to continue with waiting upon the Lord. Amen. We're waiting upon the Lord. And uh, we have a part to do. Amen. So we need to read it and then find out what, the, what he wants us to do. Yeah. But uh, just uh, we're going to review a little bit about this is part two on uh, waiting upon the Lord. Amen. And they that wait upon the Lord. Let's uh, put it up here. Amen. Here we go. I got a few translations for you. You know, when you read it, always read a couple of translations. First one says, King James says, but they that wait upon the Lord yes. shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Yeah. They shall walk and not faint. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> now the... Uh, uh, New Living Bible uh, translation says, "But those who trust uh -huh. in the Lord will find new strength. Yes, they will soar high on wings like eagles." Yeah. And we're going to read these scriptures here in a few minutes. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. Go to the next one. Here we go. The Amplified says, "What? But those we're talking about God's people, uh -huh. your child of God." Those that wait upon the Lord, those that yes. wait for the Lord, mm -hmm. who expect, look for, and hope in Him. Yes. We have to be expecting. Amen. You got to have faith. You got to believe. Right. Amen. Look for and hope in Him will gain new strength and renew their power. Remember that you have authority. He's yes. defeated the enemy and He's given you authority. Amen. But you have to use that authority. You just can't be silent. You got to get the word in you mm -hmm. and let the word out. You got to speak the word out. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They, uh, they will lift up their wings as eagles. They shall rise up close to God uh -huh. like eagles rising towards the sun. They will run and not become weary. They shall walk Amen. and not grow tired. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Remember, this is a physical body. Yeah. <laughs> but also, the Bible says we're to try being. We're a spirit. We have a soul, your mind, will, and emotions, yes. and you have a body. Yes. Amen. And yes. it tells us what to do. You feed your spirit, man, the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you renew your mind with the Word of God, and you crucify the flesh. Because mm -hmm. the flesh wants to do nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and some of us have been on nothing for a long time. <laughs> it's time to get up. <laughs> It's Amen. time to get up and do something. Amen. He says to study, you'll show yourself approved. Yeah. You're always depending on somebody else. You want pastor to do it all. You want whoever to do it all. You know, sister so so uh, so so. Uh, uh, I wanted to find a name for sister. Uh, know it all. <laughs> she knows all your scriptures. So yeah, if you go to sister so and so, or you go to brother so and so, no, it's you. Amen. Amen. It's you. Amen. He's called you. He's anointed you. Yes. He's equipped you with all these things. And you're to go and fulfill what he's called you to do. When you just start seeing yourself the way God sees you, when yes. you start seeing yourself the way the word says about you, 
you know, you're going to be looking for giants. You're going to be looking for, for, for devils to, to whoop up yeah. on, you know? Yeah. I mean, they've been whooping on you all this time. Now it's time for you to go and whoop up yeah. on them, you know? Yeah. And say, wait a minute. I got to get the word in me because I know, I know what the word says. When, the, when you find out what the word of God says, yeah. then you're going to go and gain some ground. You're going to go and, 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 and <clears throat> whoop up on some devils, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So praise God. All right. Just leave it right there. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Take these off. Oh, just uh, some quick reviews. Is having an attitude, a winning attitude. Amen. Remember we're talking about attitude? Yes. <laughs> You know, if you got a bad attitude, it's just like having a bad flat or having a flat tire. You can't go anywhere and until you change it. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Don't say you're a child of God and going somewhere with a negative right. or bad attitude Amen. all the time, you know. Right. Change it. Right. You know, there's somebody out there waiting to hear something from you and you ain't got nothing to share. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Be positive. Be, uh -huh. You know, everybody out there is going to just try to distract you. Everybody out there is going to try to say something negative to you right. or uh, just rub you the wrong way but you have to be ready you have to have yourself all uh 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 ready for you know spend time with him prepare yeah, yourself to, to you know to, to go into the world uh -huh. if you don't prepare yourself for the world the world's ready for you oh, yeah. and they're going to eat you up quick amen, amen. amen. <laughs> The Bible says you can do all things through all Christ. Things. Having a winning, positive attitude, not yes. a negative attitude. You know, if you're going to have a negative attitude, you might as well just join the crowd because that's what they're all doing. Yeah. They have bad attitudes. They have negative attitudes. Change that. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants us to change. That's what the Word of God does for us. It changes us. Yes, it does. We need to be changed. Amen. I want to be an imitator of God. I want to be like Him, not like the world. We're in the world, but not of this world. Amen. Yes, so praise right. God. See yourself yes. soaring high with God yes. as eagles. Being positive. Having a positive attitude. And not scratching or wallowing in the mud with chickens or, 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 or with pigs. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the world for you. They're always trying to pull you down. They're always having you scratching for something. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you're going to soar. You know what eagles do when they, when the... Uh, when there's problems, when there's storms, they rise up. They soar up yes. way over the storms. And you're going to have storms daily. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. And we want to talk about some of them. And if we don't hit any of them, then we, you need to get saved. Because mm -hmm. the enemy is going to come at you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's going to use people. God uses people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the enemy is going to use people yes. that don't have God in them. Mm -hmm. And don't have the word in them. Yes. You got that. Be ready for the world. Amen. Amen. You right. gotta be ready. A couple of scriptures I want to read you. Psalms 24 and 17. I mean, excuse me, 27, 14. We read these last week. I just want to remind them to you. <clears throat> it says, Wait in faith and patiently on the Lord. Be of good cheer, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And the New Living Translation says, Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courage child of God. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Amen. Amen. He told He told him to go and wait for the Holy Spirit. He says, go in the upper room and wait for the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, there was more than 120. See, 120 got filled right. because they waited. Yeah. But there was more than 120. Yes, but you know what they started doing? They started walking out. Yeah. Amen. They started walking out. They got in the flesh. And the flesh just had the best of them, you know, oh, and yeah. said, well, you know, this ain't going to happen, so we just going to leave. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they walked out, and they missed it. Amen. So don't miss yeah. don't miss it. He's called you. He wants you. He needs you. Yes. And he's not pushing you away. We're pushing away, and we're walking away from him. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> let's, let's continue. Okay. Amen. Let's continue. Here we go. So today, I'm going to be talking Every day, live life to the fullest. By what? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 40 and 31. This is our text. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yes. Amen. So grab your Bibles. We're going to be reading. It says soaring high, running, walking over. So if you open your Bibles, well, we already read uh, uh, soaring high is is 40 Isaiah 40 and 31 let's let's read it anyway yes. let's open your Bibles you got Bibles I want you to open it up 
so we can uh, read it from the Bible. That's where we got it from, and that's what we use. We use the Word of God. Amen. Isaiah 40 and verse 31. Are you there? Yes. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall what? Renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. So he wants us to soar up over whatever problems you might be having. Your problems are very different than mine. But still, those storms are there. Those problems are there. Those cares are there. Whatever it is, is there. But he wants us to soar up with him and be with him. Be patient. Amen. Uh, let's go to Hebrews. Hebrews 12 and uh, 2. Excuse me. Hebrews 12 and 1. That's the New Testament. Yes. <laughs> All right. We're teaching you the word. Yeah. Hebrews 12, chapter 12 and verse 1 says what? Will it be Christ? Christ our example, wherefore seeing, we uh, also are com compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every way, every distraction, every sin which does so easily besets us, and let us run what? With patience the race that is set before us. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're to run this race. So we're, run, we're, we're soaring, we're running, and now we're walking. So now go back to the Old Testament and go back to Psalms 23. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're doing Amen. good. Just doing good. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 23. Yes. And look at verse 4. It says what? Yea, I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yes. It says, Yea, though I walk through. I'm going to walk through. I'm not camping out. Yeah. I'm not staying. I, uh, there's nothing going to stop me. Because mm. I know the greater one is with me. Amen. God is with me. Amen. Yeah. And we're going through. And I'm going to read here a, a scripture here, a, a story here for you in a few minutes. That says, Jesus told his disciples, let us go to the other side. They're sailing and they're going across the lake. And he says, let us go to the other side. You think if Jesus gave you a word, it says, we're going to the other side. You think there's nothing going to happen. Everything's cool. We're just going to make it. Well, guess what? Storms came up. Storms show up on a daily basis. Hey, I'm going to have a, a God day today. You know? <laughs> I'm going to have a God day today. But guess what? Between now and the time you go home, you're going to have some problems. Yeah. But the greater one is with you. And he says, I have overcome, and you can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen? So let's read it the way we have it here. Let me see. Praise God. Soaring high over troubles, over cares, over distractions, over temptations, mm -hmm. over trials, overcoming this negative world. Yeah. Amen? This world is going to come at you with all kind of neg negatives. Amen? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see it everywhere. TV, magazines. Uh, cell phones, it doesn't matter. They're going to come at you. Uh, John 16, 33, in the, King, in the New King James says, These things I have spoken to you. That means you will have peace. You want peace? <laughs> in him, we can have peace. Yes. He is the Prince of Peace. He says, we can have peace. He says, in the world you will have tribulations, mm -hmm. misfortunes, these troubles, these cares, these sufferings. These, uh, but he says, be of good cheer. Yes. Because I have overcome it, this world. Amen. I have overcome this. So praise God. He's our greatest example. And he's telling us what, what to do. Yes. Amen. He tells us right here what to do. The easy to read version says, I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me. I don't hear I don't know what you're trying to find peace in. Drugs, alcohol, whatever. The world. Whatever it is. You know what? There's no other peace like. Amen. God peace, yeah. Jesus peace, amen. He is the Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. He'll give you the peace, amen. <laughs> In this world, we have troubles, but be brave. I have overcome. I have defeated the world. Yes, amen. So, who do you want to listen to? You want to listen mm -hmm. to the world, or you want to listen to someone that's already defeated the world? Yeah, amen. You want to listen. You want to listen to him. Also, he's defeated your enemies. He's defeated yes. Satan. That's right. So now he's giving you authority over him. Mm -hmm. 
so that you can go and do what he's called you to do. Every one of us, I know this is for somebody, every one of us, including you, is listening or you're watching, he's got a, a mission for you. Right. Amen. And you can go and fulfill what he's called you to do. Right. Forget about what the world says that you can't do it. The world's negative. Remember, they're going to tell you, you can't do it. You ain't qualified. You can't. You you just ain't got it. No. Amen. But you do. Amen. Because God gave it there and put it there yeah. for you. But we need to stay <coughs> filled and we need to stay in uh, relationship with Him. Amen. That's what it's all about. It's about relationship. Visiting with Him. Spending time with Him. And growing and staying with Him. Amen. Yeah. I think we said it like this a few weeks back. You got to stay connected. You got to stay yeah. plugged in. Right. Amen. Yeah. Don't unplug. Stay plugged. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Keep those spiritual batteries up and up. Amen. <clears throat> we must be patient. Have faith. Trust and obey. <clears throat> and expect. Amen. amen. I expect. Amen. He wants us to be expecting and be hoping and have this faith. Amen. Yeah. So that's what this is all about. Wait on the Lord. Then we shall mount up with wings as eagles. Then we shall run and not be weary. Amen. We shall walk and not faint. Mm -hmm. If you know, if you're trying to fight this uh, battle in the flesh, you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do this a part-time thing, you know, we already, you already know, <laughs> you no match. The part-time Christians no match for a full-time devil. That's right. Amen. That world out there is full-time. And you go out there halfway, and it ain't going to happen. Mm -mm. You're going to crash. And then you can't blame God. you got to do your part. He's done his. Amen. Amen. And they beat him, and they crucified him. And guess what? <laughs> mm -hmm. They buried him, but he went, took the keys of death, y'all, in the grave. Yes, he did. And he rose again to Amen. and see, seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. And he interceding for you. Now he's cheering you on. And all the Bible heroes are cheering you on and say, hey, <laughs> We did it. You can do it also. Mm -hmm. Do your part. Do your share. Amen. You weren't called to just sit and do nothing. Right. Don't be idle. No. He says, <laughs> I'd rather you be cold or hot. But don't be lukewarm. Oh, Amen. Don't just be halfway pretending, you know. You're not a pretender. Be a participator, not a spectator. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm preaching better than you ain't better than me, man. Right. <laughs> See yourself soaring as an eagle. With God, not scratching with them chickens mm -hmm. and eating with pigs. Amen. Mm -hmm. See yourself the way God sees you. Mm -hmm. We already talked about soaring. Isaiah 40 and 31. Running. Hebrews 12 and 1. Get rid of the distractions. Get rid of the weight. All that extra stuff, you know. Let it go. Let the past go. You know, all them things the enemy is going to try to use against you. Yeah. People are going to try to use against you to hold you back. Yeah. Distract you. Amen. Yeah. Just, just let it go. For walking, pressing on, and being an overcomer. Amen. Just, you know, when you read the word, just get it in you and just act it out. You know, um, you don't have to just go around calling yourself a Christian. Yeah. Be a Christian. Be a Christian. Amen. Do it. Amen. You're a Christian. Christ like. Yes. Is um, having. Relationship with him and say, Lord, I need you on a daily basis. I need you now more than ever. Mm -hmm. Amen. With the things that's happening now, you know, everybody's magnifying problems more than they're magnifying God. A lot of them just because they don't know him. Yeah. But we know better. And we shouldn't join the negative crowd. We should join the magnifying of our God. Yeah. Amen. Magnifying him and pressing on. Yes. Say, well, how come you're going through? He says, because he says, we're going through. He says he's already defeated it and we're gonna press on. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna complete this. I want to complete my mission. I don't know about you, but you shouldn't have failed. He didn't put us here to fail, he put us right. here to win. Yeah. Amen. And you're on God's winning team. Yes. So see yourself a winner. Get rid of all the negative stuff the world's trying to put in you or try to put on you. Don't let it, you know, just delete it, delete it, get rid of it. Yeah. Overcoming cares, problems, troubles, setbacks, failures. Uh, lack anything that makes you fall any distraction and if I missed one you add it <laughs> just put it on there because you know we're all different yeah so he might get you a different way to try to get me yeah still 
God, Jesus has already overcome all this. Amen. Yeah. There's no excuse. There ain't any, no new things. You right. know, people coming up saying, hey, right. this is new. This is something uh -huh. maybe Jesus forgot. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> you better just walk away from there and go yeah. and be by yourself and uh -huh. be with him and spend time with him. Yeah. And be in the word. Open the word and spend time in the word. Amen. Yes. And this is what I was telling you here in a few minutes ago. Mark 4. Chapter 4, verse 34 through, uh, 35 through 40 says, Jesus told them, says, let us go over to the other side. Mm -hmm. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. And other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so it was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow mm -hmm. <laughs> the storms of life will come daily yeah. amen no concerns to him he went on to sleep what storms are bothering you what storms are coming against you right now he says we're going to the other side amen amen so it doesn't matter what storms are coming mm -hmm. we're passing through right we're going through he says even though i walk through the valley of shadow of death whatever storms are there he says we're going through yeah because he's with us amen. amen so praise god and they awoke him and they said to him teacher don't you care that we are perishing then he arose and rebuked the wind and he said to the sea be st peace be still mm -hmm. and the wind wind, wind ceased and there was a great calm but he said to them why are you so fearful mm -hmm. why is it that you have no faith no or why no faith. is your patience yeah. yeah. We're learning. Remember, we're we're learning, we're maturing, yeah. and there's no place here where you used to be the judge uh -huh. or you to put somebody down. Mm -hmm. He says we assemble ourselves so we can come and encourage one another. Pick somebody up. You know, if you go out there trying to look uh, look for losers, you're gonna see a lot of people losing. <laughs> and you're gonna find a lot of people down. But don't mean you gotta hold them down and keep them down. Encourage them and pick them up. Yeah. And says, hey, you know, yes. Jesus paid for you. Yeah. And you can, you can, you you can do for him. You can be better. You can be aware. You know, he paid the price for you, so you can make it. Amen. So yeah. remember, we can soar and overcome the world and save him, just as Jesus did. Amen. Because he tells us, Amen, and he shows us examples. Mm -hmm. First John four four says, "You are God, little children." And have overcome them because yeah. he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Right. Wow. Amen. Amen. Greater is he that's in me than he yeah. that's in the world. What's in me? Mm -hmm. Jesus. His Holy yeah. Spirit is Amen. in me. Amen. So yeah. <laughs> praise God. I can do all things through Christ all who strengthens me. Yeah. And he says he'll never leave me nor forsake me. That's he right. is with me at all times. Don't ever say, well, I'm by myself. <laughs> oh, poor little old me. No. No, he's with you. Mm -hmm. We just got to have relationship. Yeah. And we have to talk to him. Amen. And use his word to overcome yes. all yes. this. Yes. Amen. He has already done this. We just have to put it to use. Yes. Amen. You know, when yes. you get full of the word, <laughs> all your fears got to go. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. And when you step out, when you, when you get in the word, you step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Say, man, I can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise wow. God. I'm not good when uh, it's not good when people of God are in bondage. Mm. It's not good when people uh, God's people are in bondage, imprisoned to sin, mm -hmm. bad habits, the ways of the world, other little things, distractions. Amen. That keep you from fulfilling what God has called you to do. Yeah. Amen. Don't be a defeated Christian. I mean, when you get the word in you, you're going to be up and up. Amen. Just like little David going up against the giant. I mean, that's a great story God shows us. But still, he wants that little David in you to rise up and say, man, I can do all things through Christ. Amen. All things. I don't care how old, how little or, or how big or, or how old you are. You're going to press through yeah. because you know the greater one is yeah, in there. Yeah. We got to get this kind of attitude. Amen. <laughs> Forget about Lord. the negative attitude. Yeah. Get a Christ-like attitude. Amen. Yeah. Church, let go of whatever makes you stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can write that down. Yeah. 
Yes. Let go of whatever makes you stop. Amen. What's making you stop? Then let it go. Why are you holding on to it? Amen. Let go and let God. With Him, all things are possible. Yes, they are. Amen. You know the impossible becomes possible mm -hmm. with Him. So let go of those things. Amen. Whatever makes you stop. Waiting on the Lord requires faith, patience, hope, believing, and expectancy. Mm. You gotta expect it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Waiting on the Lord Thank you, Jesus. has hopeful results. Couple of things some of us are not good at. <laughs> Guess what it is? <laughs> Waiting and patience <laughs> oh man I've been waiting and waiting and waiting you know so what do we do we start pacing the floor <laughs> we easily get impatient we don't guard our mouth we forget about the words remember the enemy is listening and what are words are you speaking it says death and life are in the power of the tongue death and life are in the words you speak mm -hmm. so if you're going around speaking negative all of a sudden your door is open for the enemy to cry in yeah. yes. so you have to be careful so we're being impatient and so we all of a sudden we're not guarding the words we're saying mm -hmm. or the words that we're shooting out mm -hmm. hey i can you know some of us have machine guns <laughs> man we can shoot out some some words you know say oh man that sounds good man I could okay I'm gonna talk about me I'm not gonna talk about you but when I was growing up I couldn't wait to get up a certain age to say man I couldn't wait to say my first uh, bad word you know and guess what I come from a champ uh, a family of uh, uh, bad word champions they can cuss good Hey Amen, man, I couldn't wait to cuss. Mm. You know? He said, wow, made me feel bigger, made me feel grown up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's, that's not right. Nope. You know, Lord cleaned me up. Mm. His word cleaned me up. And I know I'm still, and they're there, but I don't let them come out. Why? Because I have hey. a guard. I have a guard, and I think of it. And when I see people uh, not doing right, I want to share those things. But that's not going to bless them. Amen. That's not a good seed to sow. Right. So I just hold them. Amen. And you can do the same thing. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Lord, I need your strength right now. Help me, Lord. <laughs> Help me, Lord. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. you know, just let me say it and then uh, forgive me. No, no just no. don't say it. Don't, just don't share it. Or you want to lay hands on somebody with your fist, I mean with your hand. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Okay. Man, you don't know. I could tear you up. <laughs> but why not? You know, instead of putting people on your bad list, mm -hmm. put them on your prayer list. Amen. 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 And pray for them because they need prayer. They don't know the truth. It's the truth that's gonna set them free. Yeah. So We've changed. Yes. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to please people. I'm trying to please God. Mm -hmm. If I try to please them, I'll be like them. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to please God, so I'm going to not do those things. But I am going to pray for them. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Woo. You will reap what you sow. Yes. That's what the Word of God says. And, and, uh, and, and, and uh, oh, let's go there. It's um, Proverbs eighteen twenty one. Oh, Help me. Am I right? No, no. Let's check. <laughs> let's check. <laughs> Proverbs eighteen twenty one says what? Oh, no. Says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yeah. You know it says power in your tongue or power in your words. Mm -hmm. Death and life. Positive or negative. Mm -hmm. And it's your choice. You choose. You have the choice. Amen. Yes. So make the right choice. You know the more you get stay filled, <laughs> the more relationship you have, mm -hmm. easier it is for you to yeah. just 
do the right thing. Amen. Say the right thing. Amen. Amen. So death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it will eat the fruit thereof. Yes, so <laughs> guess what? If you are speaking negative, you're going to reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I, I gave it to them. No, you didn't. Yeah. You sowed it in your life. Uh -huh. You sowed it in your garden. And you're going to reap what you sowed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, I gave it to them. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. You gave it to you, and you planted it in your garden, and it's going to grow in you. So be careful. James 3 and 8 says this, the Good News Translation. But no one has ever been able to tame that tongue. It is evil and uncontrollable, full of deadly poison. Lord, help me. <laughs> To say the right things, do the right uh -huh. things, and speak the right things. Amen. Like I said, uh, I come from a cousin family. I mean, they're champions. They know all the words. <laughs> and I know them all. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was military. And military knows some of these words. And guess what? I know them all, but I won't speak them. Mm -hmm. And I won't say them. Amen. And you can do the same thing. You can do the same thing. Praise God. You have no place to the devil. If you do, he wants to rule you. Uh -huh. If you do, he wants to drive you. Yeah. And guide you the wrong way. Yeah. Amen. So he wants to cause you to take a detour. Uh -huh. You know, hey, my GPS is straight on. Head on with Jesus. Amen. I, I'm... I'm and on a daily basis, I'm going to fulfill this mission. Amen. I'm going to fulfill my mission. But John 10, 10 says what? The thief. The thief. The, thief, the devil comes. But to what? Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's read it. Let's read it. John 10, 10. Well, I know it, but uh, I want to read it. He said he comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus. Okay. Are you there? Just yeah. the thief. Well, let me see. Yeah. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Jesus says, mine's are red letters. I don't know about yours. Yeah. Amen. He says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Yeah. Amen. So the enemy wants to steal, kill, destroy. Guess uh -huh. what? He uses people to distract you. He uses yeah. people to try to <laughs> get you off track. Yes. Amen. He's spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's not here. But he uses people mm -hmm. that are don't have a not confess Jesus as mm -hmm. Lord and Savior. No, Lord. Amen. So be careful. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be careful. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He says, but I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' mission, that you might have life more abundantly. Church, we must get renewed to the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Psalm 51 and 10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit with me, within me. Amen. So renew means the restoration yes. of what becomes faded or collapsed. Mm -hmm. And now it's new. A new beginnings. You know, which before we uh, uh, chose uh, new beginnings for this uh, church, name for this church, we went through all kinds of names and we was picking all kinds of popular names. <laughs> and it wouldn't go. And it wouldn't set right in my spirit. And it kept coming back to new beginnings. So, the new beginnings. We got that from the Lord. Amen. Got that from the Lord. Amen. Amen. We try to change it to something popular, but it wouldn't work. Amen. <laughs> we have to be obedient to the, what God wanted us to name the church. Amen. Means a new renew means a new start, a brand new, new life change. Amen. So, hallelujah. Amen. I want you to catch on to this. Here's a couple of biblical examples of waiting on the Lord. Abraham and Sarah. God provided a son. <laughs> God provided a son. They said, Abraham, 
You're too old. Sarah, you're too old. Well, they waited. And God provided a son for them. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Noah for the yeah. flood and the subsiding waters. You know, yeah, he built the ark and they had the flood. But then he says, you know, wait in the ark until the water goes down. <laughs> it took time. All this takes time. Yeah. But still, you got to be patient and you have to wait. Amen. Wait on the Lord. Yeah. Joseph waited for his time and power. <laughs> Every time Joseph tried to rise up, his brothers put him down. Mm. Amen. There's a lot of things that happens to you in life. Mm -hmm. And people always try to push you down. But be patient. Yes. Amen. It takes time. Jesus, for the time, his time to fulfill. Mary and Martha, for Jesus to arrive when Lazarus died. Mm -hmm. You know, he waited four days. Yeah. And when he shows up, they come and tell him, you know, it's too late. You know, he stinks now. It's too late. Patience. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, he's not dead. He's asleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you talking about? He spoke and Lazarus came forth. Amen. Mm -hmm. So his timing. Remember we're talking about patience. His timing and expectations. Amen. The disciples for the promised land. Amen. They had patience. Believers, us, we're waiting for his return. Mm -hmm. They said he's coming back. Yeah. But still we have to be patient. His timing. At the right time, he's coming back. Because he, why? Because he says so. Yeah. His word says so. He said he's coming back. Amen. Remember when they buried him and he took that cloth that was over his face. There's a proper name for it. I know Scott knows it. Okay. The cloth that was over his face. Oh. And he folded it. When he folded it, yes. meaning he's coming back. Mm -hmm. So he's coming back. Amen. There's proof that he's coming back. And we believe because he says so. So we're, we're having patience. We have faith. We have hope. We believe. And we have expectancy. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. We're going to stop there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory. We're going to stop there. In each case it was worth the wait. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's the good of the spiritual Amen. giants, Bible heroes. But what about us? <laughs> you see yourself as little people or as grasshoppers, or you see yourself a giant for God. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're putting yourself down. Yeah. You're a child of God. Amen. Amen. He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He's our Heavenly Father. We're His children. Yeah. Says we can do all things Thank through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. So we're praying <laughs> and we're believing and we're waiting. Amen. Stay in touch. Have a relationship with Him. It says, waiting on God is not just sitting and doing nothing. Right. Waiting on God is staying in touch, in tune with God, and having that relationship. Right. Amen. Turning to Him with every care, concern, and decisions. Amen. Trusting Him to hear our prayers daily. Yes. Taking steps as He directs and guide us on a daily basis. Turning the outcome over to Him and making ourselves, here's this, making ourselves available to Him. Mm. That's the worst thing we're told to do. You know, mm. well, I'm not qualified. I don't have anything to give. Mm. You know, so we exclude ourselves instead of including ourselves. Oh making yourself available to Him. That's all He wants. He's looking for available people. Amen. Right. Amen. Not on your abilities, but your availability. Yeah. Amen. So make yourself available to Him. He's talking about me. It's about you, Lord. I just want to. He says He came to serve, not to be served. That's right. And we can be good servants of God. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Amen. Thank so be open and be uh, available to Him. Amen. There's a song that says this. There's a God on the mountain. He's God on the mountain. He's God in the valley. Mm -hmm. When things go wrong, He'll make it right. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. And when things are, are are not right, or excuse me, it says, God 
of the good times, God of the bad times. He's God of the day and he's God of the night. Yes. yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So he's God on the mountain. Uh -huh. He's God in the valley. And he's always with you. He's there with you. Amen. He's coming Amen. with you. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So we're waiting upon him. Renewing your mind. Renewing your strength. Amen. Thank you, Father. Let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this opportunity of your word coming, Father God, and, and uh, blessing us, Lord. Bless your people, those that are hearing, Father God, those that are watching, Lord. Bless them, bless them, Lord. Meet their needs, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's not about uh, not being qualified. It's about making myself available to you, yes. Father God, and fulfilling what your word has called us to do. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we are waiting upon the Lord. Amen. And we shall renew our strength. And we shall uh, run and not be weary, and we shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. Praise so praise God. God. Amen. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Do you receive it? Amen. Yes, I receive yes. it, and Amen. I let it come in me and change me and make me what I need to be Amen. and be for Him. Amen. Be available for Him. So praise God. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Hallelujah. Well, we just want to uh, give you an opportunity to, to give right now. Yes. For those of you that are watching and listening, give you tithes and offerings. Uh, just uh, look on the screen right there and it tells you uh, NBCBigBen.com uh, and hit the donate button. Those of you that are mailing yours, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And again, we want to say thank you and God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise God.